One of the lesser known political events yesterday was the president signing into law the Mark Twain Commemorative Coin Act. I and many of my constituents, including those who homeschool their children or send their children to private or religious schools, have justifiable doubts that a foreign UN body, a committee operating out of Geneva, Switzerland, should decide what is in the best interest of the child at home with his or her parents in Utah or in any other state in our great union. The Senate rewrote itself today on the rights of the disabled. And the United States Senate shamed itself today. I don't care if you're in a wheelchair or not, you don't run into me. The Americans with Disabilities Act says you cannot be discriminated against in this country just because you have a disability. There needs to be some reasonable accommodation made so people with disabilities can access the same public accommodations that we all can. This week, Senator John McCain said America is a more loving and caring nation because we passed the Americans with Disabilities Act. And the reason that John McCain was saying that publicly this week is because this week the United States Senate had been considering a treaty modeled on the Americans with Disabilities Act to persuade other countries around the world to do what we have done, to treat our law like the gold standard for all countries, to which all countries should aspire. It's kind of flattering, right? I mean, our civil rights advance, one that was hard fought, but one. Our civil rights advance, a model for the world. So far, this treaty's been signed by 154 countries, including the US. It's been ratified by another 126 nations, not including the US. President Obama, in other words, signed it a couple years ago, but it has not yet been ratified by the United States Senate. Well, uh, the Senate is lost. And this is, a, this is a branch of the GOP that doesn't represent all Republicans, but it's the pugnacious, obnoxious, nationalist wing that really resents any international deal making. And there's a lot of worry, not just about people with disabilities, but all the other treaties that position the United States and show that it can be the primary sculptor of global, global affairs in a way that serve Americans. And we're, we're defecting from that. Bob Dole needed five votes today. Those five votes were all he needed. Bob Dole reached into their hearts today and found nothing. And that brings us back to Mark Twain, who said this in his book, Mark Twain in Eruption. I am quite sure now that often, very often, in matters concerning religion and politics, a man's reasoning powers are not above the monkeys. Congratulations to the monkeys in the Senate.